Welcome to the Modecast, our continuation of the podcast after Charlie left on July 20th, 2015. Hope you guys enjoy it, so here's us with Trev. Bye, Charlie. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. So Charlie's gone. Left with uh, me, Ryan, and Trev. And, well, we had to take a break because we needed more beer. Or they, need, they needed more beer. So now we're back. All right, this is an edit because I fucked up and never turned on Trevor's mic. Uh, he had asked me um, how I was doing with my uh, not drinking, um, with my pancreatitis, and he asked me to explain it, which is inflammation of the pancreas. Um, I got pancreatitis when I was in Vegas in December, just had a blowout night with drinking and ended up in the hospital for three days. And they told me I had pancreatitis and I now have to stop drinking. And pancreatitis is brought on by long-term heavy drinking. Basically, I'm an alcoholic. And so December 26th, that was my last time I had any alcohol. And he asked me how I was doing with it and I'm doing okay. Uh, it was difficult in the beginning. Kind of made me realize that I am an alcoholic. But uh, I'm doing better now. I don't really have much of a problem with it. He, We were talking about how I don't like hanging out in like bar situations or party situations where we're only drinking or there's only really drinking going on because I just I don't know what to do with myself because that's normally when I would drink and then the other Jeremy would come out and I don't have that option anymore I can't just have that release and so it's just kind of awkward I kind of just stand quietly and chit chat here and there and it just feels really uncomfortable I don't mind but I, I don't mind hanging out when it's just a few friends and they're drinking that doesn't bother me at all because it's not like just a drinking environment and uh, I was talking to Trevor about, uh, he said he, he, that he couldn't do it because beer makes everything more fun. And I 100% agree with him that beer makes everything more fun. And we're talking about how bullshit it is that uh, the people who say that, oh, it's more sober. Or you can have just as much fun when you're fucking sober. Uh, bullshit. So basically to sum it up, if I ever drink again, one of three things can happen. Which is I'll you know just get drunk. Or I'll end up back in the hospital with another case of pancreatitis, and I'll then have chronic pancreatitis. Or I will die, and I have no idea to tell which of the three is going to happen. So therefore, I quit drinking, which sucks. And my pancreas is a weak-ass bitch. So back to the podcast. But no, uh, what were we saying? Oh, just like... No, four I've been drinking for so fucking long that like... <clears throat> When I go places, I'm like, I got to have a fucking beer. It loosens me up. It, like, makes me relax. And, like, I know, I don't know. Obviously, I have alcoholics in my family. And I know that I'm not to that point. But at the same time, like, I fucking love beer. I love what it does to me. You know what I mean? And, like, I, I don't push it. Try not drinking for six months. And I'll let you have a different opinion that you're not to that point. What? No, quit drinking for six months, and I bet your opinion of of you saying that you're not to that point of being an alcoholic. Well, no, I, I have phases of that, but I mean, like, I can go without six months. I know that, but it's just like, holy shit, did you see that cockroach on no, the couch? No. Dude, we had, we, had, we had a bet of three weeks, and you couldn't do it. Yeah, but the thing is, is like, well, <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. Every time, every fucking... You my money. Where's my money at, actually, for that? I don't recollect any of that. Dude, I'm an alcoholic, cheap, remember? <laughs> <laughs> no. My thing for is, like, fuck. we always have something going on, you know what I mean? And, like, fucking, dude, I'm a laborer, pretty much. I bust my ass at work, and, like, that's my that's my dog treat. That's my cookie at the end of the day. Like, I want to <laughs> fucking have a beer. It's not like... That's my cookie at the end of the day. Like, no. during the week, I don't get shit canned. I have, like, maybe the most beer... I've drank it on the weekday, like in one single sitting, is like four or five beers, and that's a lot on the weekday for me. Usually I have like one or two, but on the weekends, like, it's fucking hard to hang out with our friends and not be fucking on their level, you know? Because everyone else is, so it's everyone like you're annoyed. We're drunk, yeah. and you're like, I've done it. I've, you know, I've had work the next day where I'm sitting here and like trying to keep it cordial, and I'm like, you guys are fucking annoying. <laughs> Dude, I think it's kind of two sided because, I mean, I feel like when you're single, you don't have any responsibility. I don't think it's it's that big of an issue. But I think when you have kids and you bring it to that point, then I'm like, all right, dude. Well, yeah, that's I'm not there yet. Yeah, though, exactly. That's know? what I'm saying. Like, well, I don't. No, you think have to look at consequences. Are you having consequences? Yeah. 
I, I mean, I look at that. Like, I know my liver's probably fucking pretty toasty, you know, ready for me to get called in, call it quits. What but kind like, of consequences, though? I look at it as anything. Like, like for I started looking at it as, like, hangover as a consequence. Yeah, but you know my theory about hangovers. <laughs> <laughs> just drink another beer. <laughs> just drink another beer, and then you just... But like, a lot of it comes from having a kid, though. True. That's I'm not there yet, and that's why well, I'm not I, putting I'm not putting that on you either, though. That's why I'm saying I don't think it's an issue. Well, we're trying right now, but like I know me and Jill both, we, we always tell each other. Most of the time, it's the day after the party uh, when we are a little hungover, and we're like, <laughs> I can't wait to just settle down a little bit. You know what I mean? Just like relax and enjoy each other, and enjoy our new family, and just kind of have a whole new chapter in life. You know. But I think that's weird, though. I don't think someone has a problem until they have a kid. Like, I'm like, oh, they're just partying. There's, they're, there's, and we don't have any responsibility. Have fun. Yeah. And that's when I think it's an issue when you have, when you're supposed to run their life and then you're still acting like an idiot. Then I'm like, all right. But the thing is, like, I, the only time I think someone has a problem is, like, when, okay, say, like, J Jeremy was saying about the consequences, like, say if you got a DUI, you know what I mean? You have a Dewey and then you didn't learn from your mistake and you still continue to drink and drive and like yeah. that's when you have a fucking problem like you obviously don't have a logic logical mind when you're doing that you know what i mean like i want for gummy bear sake like me and him almost fucking almost punched him the other night i was pissed off love the guy but i told him i took his keys in the in the beginning of the night you know we were at the bar he had a fucking gang of fucking uh what are those old fashions the yeah. whiskey and I don't know, orange juice or whatever the hell it is, or like whiskey and I don't know what it is. That sounds disgusting. Yeah, they are. They're <laughs> strong as shit. Some foo-foo drink. No, it's a man's drink. That doesn't drink. sound foo-foo at all. It's a man's drink. It's pretty much whiskey and um, like tri triple sec. No, I don't know what it is, but he had a shit ton of them. Just and whiskey I, and triple sec? That's it? No, it's like whiskey and some other citrus flavoring. I forget what Bunch it is. Bunch of liqueur? It's a, it's a man's drink. So it's all like, alcohol. All alcohol. Oh, okay. And I told him, like, we came back here to the man cave, and he bought an 18-pack, and he probably had, I don't know, seven, eight beers when we were here. And this is, like, we got here at 12 at night, and all of a sudden, I took his keys in the, the earlier in the night. I'm like, yeah, I'm taking your keys, fucker. You can sleep on my couch. And he's like, all right. And then he's already got a DUI, you know? And all of a sudden, 5 fucking 20 in the morning... He tells me, hey, I got to go. I need my keys. I'm like, no. Yeah. You're not fucking going home, dude. Like, I already told you, you're staying here and fucking... He's like, I'm not fucking with you. I'm like, I'm not fucking with you. I told you, I'll call you an Uber wherever you want to go, and I'll call you an Uber back here to pick up your car in the morning or wherever. You could leave. I'm not, take, like, making you stay here, but you're not driving. And he got all in my face, and I was like, gummy bear. I'm about to... This is... To please listen to me. Yeah. I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> yeah. So you know what I did? I did the wrong thing, and I said, "Well, fuck you. Take your keys." I told him where they're at. This is after like half an hour of me and him going at it. I'm like, "Whatever, dude. You want to make a dumb mistake? Fucking someone can run into you, and you're drunk, and they're sober, and you go to jail, no matter what. Like something stupid. Five thirty in the morning. Everyone's going to work. You know, fucking." That's the worst. When someone gives you their word and then they back out on yeah, you, it you fucking me told off. me. And it's like that's. When you have a problem to me. Like, when you're not being logical on what can happen. Yeah. Like, yeah, I freaking hang out, party and everything. And most of the time, it's in my own garage. I'm, it's a, in a controlled area. You know what I mean? Just like when we were little kids, like, our moms let us do it. Because yeah. they knew exactly where we were at, you know? <coughs> and it's just, I don't know. I think about it all the time. <clears throat> we had a man cave at your house. <laughs> yeah, we're... My, my, our man cave at my house was on my trampoline. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> That's crazy. Have you ever tried to wrestle somebody lately? Uh, just besides my sister's husband, Brett. Yeah, we we'll fuck around. It was funny. We were fucking around. Uh, when was that? Like five, six months ago. And I was beating uh, him at wrestling, right? And then he was, was like, "That's that Thanksgiving, wasn't it?" He's like, "Well, I bet if I got you in a hold." You'd be like, get out of it. I was like, put me in a hole. I guarantee I'll get out of it. He's like, let me get you in a choke hole. It's like, do it. We <laughs> got me a choke hole. Uh, you know, I'm so fucking stubborn. I was literally probably 10 seconds away from passing out. He lets me up because he knows I start to go limp. 
And I'm like, why'd you let me go? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> fucking yeah. just being all stubborn. I go inside the house floor and I fucking collapsed. Dude, I couldn't get off the bathroom floor. I was literally like, the worst fucking like, I was blacking out and Trish comes in there, Ryan, you okay? I'm like, <gasps> I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it was, it was so bad. Brett's a manimal. Like, that dude is a, he's pretty gnarly. I seen his little weightlifting competition yeah, thing. We went he did. to it yesterday. It was awesome, dude. He's That's fucking. Cool. He's a beast, dude. Fucking five hundred and what? Five hundred and he eighty some pounds. Squatted five thirty four. That was the first one. He got up from there. No, no, that's the last one. That was, that was his top five thirty. Five thirty four. And he bench I like three fifteen or something no, like five, that. Eight, no, his bench like three sixty four, right? Uh, regardless, the fucker lifted a lot of weight. Yeah, yeah. gang of weight. A lot he's of weight. An animal. Yeah, big time. But. I don't know what I was going about with the whole wrestling thing. Like, remember we used to wrestle all day after school for hours, after hours, for hours. hours. no out of breath, nothing. And like, it was funny. I was at this little get together for uh, Jell's sister's um, graduation party, and like, a bunch of family friends were there. And this one dude, he's probably like, I don't know, I want to say 21, 20 to twenty two in that age gr- group. And he shows up, and I'm in the pool trying to teach, like, you know, some of my family, they didn't know how to swim, so I'm trying to teach them how to swim, and, like, Brad was over here, and, like, I guess the dude, it's one of Brad's, like, high school friends, his daughter's, like, new little boyfriend, you know, he thinks he's all fucking tough shit, and he starts to fucking talk shit, and he's like, what, Brad, you want to wrestle, da 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 you know, and Brad's like, no. But that guy right there in the pool wrestling will kick your ass. He started, like, going off like that. And all of a sudden, this dude's coming up, and he's like, Hey, I heard you can wrestle. You want to wrestle? You want to wrestle? And I'm like, dude, what the f- I don't even know you. You know what I mean? Like, what the f- I don't know you. What are you talking about? Like, who does that? You know what I mean? I'm trying to teach these little kids how to swim and shit, trying to be the good, you know, family member. And all of a sudden, I'm like, hold on. Another hour goes by and this fucker's just pissing me off. He's squirting me in, like, and I get out of the pool and I'm like talking to everybody. And he's like squirting me in the back of the head with one of those squirt guns. I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass right now. Do a flying squirrel on him. <laughs> yeah. So I told him, I'm like, all right, let's go out front. You know, all the family. There was a gang of people. All the families in the back. I told him I'm not gonna do it in front of everybody. So we went out and, you know, like the whole water crisis right now. So everyone like let their lawn die. This fucking grass was the. Sharpest, fucking <laughs> dirtiest. I'll that crunch you. Shit hurt, dude. I had rashes for a couple of days after this, but like, I don't know. The f- we went like three rounds. The first round, I you know I'm pretty hammered by this point. Shirts off, everything, and I freaking stepped into right into his little chokehold. I'm like, all right, tap out, and I think that boosted his confidence. I'm over here like. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Then the second two times, dude, I don't know, I got a freaking hair up my ass or something, but I, like, I handled the dude, like, two rounds after that, like, slammed him, fucking, I got him in, like, a rear naked choke where I python squeezed him, and he was like, Ugh! you know, like, almost shit his pants. <laughs> and he's like, all right, dude, you can wrestle, blah, 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 but, like, I can't believe, like, how out of shape we've gotten throughout the years because we don't wrestle on your trampoline anymore you know what i mean not even that though dude how many times did we walk home from rancho high school and cars were stopping knock it off because we'd wrestle from ranch cucumber or from rancho high school all the way to mom's house yeah <laughs> and dude literally non-stop it would three take hour, us three hour wrestling dude, session. it would yeah. take us fucking hours to yeah. get home hours and it was, dude it was, i mean if you walked that with like 45 minutes no it takes for it that was um like a 45 minute walk right 45 minutes to an 45 hour five minutes yeah from Rancho High? Yeah, yeah, it's not that far. Down here? To rent, it was, what is it, like two miles, right? Uh, Probably like three. Three, yeah. Figure, well, you can walk 15 miles, 15 minutes. No, not 15. A mile in like 15 minutes? Probably like 25 minutes. A mile? 20, oh, 20 minutes a mile. How, how fast can you speed walk in a mile? I don't know. Let's see what this is. Hey, Let you know. It would fu- shit. It you know who I can't us. fucking beat for the, the life of me and I always try like an idiot is Eric. This fucker's got... The MMA background, dude, and every time, like, I'll hold, I'll, like, hang with him, but when he gets me in, like, a submission or something, I'm like, holy shit, like, how the fu- how do you get out of this? Like, my heel of my foot is touching my face right now, <laughs> you know, like, this bullshit. The arm bars, yeah, they're no joke, dude. It says, Google says, from here, it'll take 57 minutes to walk there, so, yeah, you guys are right. Two and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, it would, t- it would take us fucking like three hours to walk home because we'd wrestle. We'd walk fucking five minutes and then I'd fucking push Trevor in a bush or he'd push me in a bush and we'd start wrestling. 
Dude, we were such kids in fucking high school, dude. We would run around the campus. scooters and shit. I remember one time we had like three people on a scooter going down fucking Haven. <laughs> and we're like sophomores in high school. <laughs> and the cars are like honking at us. Like we're hauling ass down Haven. <laughs> But you know, I don't. I wouldn't give. Any, I wouldn't take any of that shit back. Like, no. fuck no. At all. That was fucking great times. Hey, you guys did way crazier shit than I ever did. Remember, fucking like in, in Haven, they had that V ditch on like the uh, west side of Haven. And all that slime. It's like the middle of summer, and somehow there's like someone's draining their pool, and it's like. All slimy in there, the and we're all had, right. Always had a constant stream. Yeah, it all, for some reason, always had. It's a, pathetic when you look back, because it was like, dude, did you guys even try to get girls? <laughs> I don't, you know, because we we're always doing fucking dumb shit. We come really as, like, you know how like some of our friends are like girl crazy. Yeah, you know what I mean, like they're just like all about chicks and stuff. Like, yeah, chicks were cool, but like when they hit on hit on us for well, to me or hit on me, but like I never really pursued too much shit because most of the girls that hit on me were fucking ogres. <laughs> Dude, they're like I st- tall as shit fucking big girls small, like I don't know I always had ogre chicks hitting on me I still think about his Trevor's dad I remember when we were young he's like listen you guys you guys need to go for the uggos right <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Dude, no. and this was like a legit speech he was like trust me he's like you guys are gonna thank me in 10 to 15 years when they're hotties is that I my dad God, or my brother I don't know your dad told us that me and you were out in the garage we were like 16 we were drinking and he came out there and 16 we were, and drinking. Yeah, we were laughing our ass off though because he was like, trust me, get the ugly chicks because the hot chicks now are not going to be there. And I swear to God, I look at Facebook and most of the chicks that like were like, no, I would never talk yeah, to you. I don't want to name I'm any like, names, but there's yeah, some fucking like, chicks out there. Yeah, now I'm like, holy shit, your dad was right. What the f- happened to you? You yeah. know what I mean? It looked like you've been chewing on rocks for a good year straight. Fucking you know, the- burned your hair off in a campfire. <laughs> fucking- no, literally though, dude, all the, all the hot chicks that I thought were in high school... Are not near as what I think of the ugly chicks in high school. Now I thought like they're just banging out. All the nerdy ones are like making fucking triple my income. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, damn it. All I have to say is your dad was right. Yeah. One hundred percent. Well, life experience. Do you look at that, Jay? Like look at pictures of chicks that like you wouldn't give them the time of day and then look at now and they're like, Oh my god. Hey, I've never hey. gone back well one time when Facebook first came out I went back and looked at like old high school friends, but I don't in the wise words of Andrew Pro- Prodigali Dad, they peak. Prodigali Dad, it is. <laughs> whatever your fucking last name is, the best saying ever. They peak too soon. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Like they peaked too soon, too quick, and they burnt out. You know, dude, like, Andrew has fucking so dude, many one liners. Hilarious. <laughs> so many those one liners. fucking hilarious. Dude, when uh, he took me out to uh, to breakfast when Jeremy got sick and. Uh, Dude, he was fucking making me laugh so hard. He's like, fuck, dude. He's like, everything. Family functions, weddings, and beer makes everything fun. What the fuck's your brother going to do? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know what I would do if that happened to me. You know what the worst part about the whole thing is? You know, like, after just just a shitty day, just kind of just a long... Yeah, you want rain, a cookie. Whatever, yeah. I just want to sit down and have one. Just one fucking beer. And granted, I probably could get away with it. But I'm not going to even. Yeah. Because then it'll just escalate. Well, like I said, when I mean cookie, you can also eat a cookie with a shit ton of fucking weed in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got to be prepared for that shit. <laughs> but it's like you were saying, though. If you could smoke weed, because obviously you can't because your job, but if you could, I mean, like I said, it, it's cool when you're by yourself. But like when you're out in public, you'd want a beer. You don't want to smoke weed. Yeah, because... I don't know. I got kind of good at it when I was living with my cousin. I got kind of good at being a stoner for a while, you know? Like, you'd go out and you'd just freaking... You, but the thing is, it's like not being, to me, like not like going somewhere, but smoking before you go in and not letting people see you smoke. Because then you can like kind of conceal it, you know what I mean? Because then, to me, when you when someone sees you smoke, when I would smoke and I would smoke in front of them, I feel like they're like judging me or like kind of like analyzing me, you know what I mean? But now, like if, now weed's so accepting though. It's well, weird. I mean it's, it's accepting, but like when you're fucking super high and you're sitting there and no one else is <laughs> yeah. stoned, you know what I mean? Everyone's like, look at look at Trevor, and then like no, one, I didn't really start till later in life, you know what I mean? So they're like, look at Trevor, he's got he's got the giggles, he's fuck got the munchies, you know, like like <laughs> so annoying when someone will call you out. Yeah, you know what I mean. But if you smoke before you go in, and no one really, the, Trevor's acting weird right now, you know what I mean? Like yeah, they'd but- have no clue. 
who cares if people do that? Because people do it when people are drinking. Like, how many times have you seen someone get shit faced really fast? And you're like, oh, look, it's stupid. True. But I'd but, rather, I'd rather be. But the problem with weed is though, weed makes you paranoid. And you start thinking about that's it. That's what I'm saying. You get nervous. like when you're shit faced, you're like, Over I only had five beers. It's okay, <laughs> you know. Like it doesn't matter. You don't give a shit. With weed, you're overthinking fucking everything. It just makes you introspective. It just yeah. That's the, that's the only thing I don't like about it is that it may, it quiets me down. Or I should say, when I'm around a lot of people, I get more quiet because I'm paying attention to what's going on. And right, right. It makes me more. Because if you didn't watch Jeremy, you wouldn't be able to tell he's high right now. I wouldn't be able to tell. I'm pretty fucked up. I know. I, I could probably tell. <laughs> no, you couldn't. Besides his fucking smile right now. Yeah, I could probably tell. <laughs> his stupid like howdy doody grin. That's the only yeah. way you could tell. But no. Would you know one thing that I do like about smoking or eating or whatever? Fucking, you know. <laughs> what I you like do with the weed fact, now? yeah. I like the fact that it's kind of like a, uh, it's like your own personal therapist, but you're in control of the therapy. You know what I mean? Like if you don't like something about yourself and if, and you kind of like think about it and you're like, damn, I was a fucking asshole. That's, I just said that. And what a dickhead thing to say. But the thing is, is you have to either write it down or try to remember it the next day <laughs> to fix it. You know what I mean? Because if you didn't, if you didn't, if you just forgot about it, then it doesn't never gets fixed. But like, I would write shit down, and like, so majority of the shit is like, what the fuck? I was high <laughs> as shit when I wrote this down, misspelled everything. Like, it doesn't even make sense. But like, some shit that did make it through, I would be like, holy shit, that's crazy. I thought about that when I was super baked. You know, yeah, you think so in depth in the things. You remember we used to get fucking stone. I would sit. We'd go in and sit in the spa. Yeah, and for fucking like ten hours. <laughs> yeah. I would just be there, like we'd smoke in the in the was it Terra Vista apartments? Just straight in the, bushes in the bathroom. And now kids, dude, they just walk down the street, fucking smoking blunt, smoking whatever. You know what I mean? I'm like, what the fuck happened? Hey, we we definitely makes you look deep inside of yourself and realize like what you're really bringing to the table. Yeah, and that's what I like about it. It's kind of like there's more self healing for sure. There's more pros than there is cons to me with that, but I mean at the same time. Uh, it's like as far as like financially like that's why it's not legal that's the only reason why it's not legal everything about it should be legal but it's like they don't know how to make money off of it yet it's no, that's not why there's already an economy off keeping weed illegal look at you have uh, the prison guard unions are fighting to keep it illegal because i mean if you look at this the numbers of how many people are in prison for marijuana it's ridiculous well, I mean, like, as far as, like, making it, like, Colorado right now, like... Washington, too. Washington, like, that's the whole... I feel like they're doing it as, like, a test run. Is, is it going to be, like, cigarettes? Is it going to be, like, beer? How are they going to tax it and, like, have people... I know, like, people can make beer, they can make alcohol to a certain extent. And you could do that with weed, too, but, like, it's way easier to do with weed than it is fucking anything else, you know what I mean? Like, how would you, like... For instance, like how cigarettes are. You can't really make your own cigarettes. You know what I mean? Well, no, it's illegal to grow tobacco. It's a But are they going to make it illegal to grow weed? That's a good point, dude. I never thought about it like that. You know, like, it's so easy to put a seed in the ground and let it grow. I know there's more steps to it if you want good weed, but really, like, who's to say you can't put a couple light bulbs in your garage in a fucking humidifier and make your own fucking badass little grow room? There's so many people there that are lazy though, that don't want to do it. Like, if they I, would smoke, buy it if from I the store, weed, I'd way rather go to the liquor store and be like, I'll take fucking a 10 pack of rolled joints. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, you're thinking about. I feel like when a lot of weed smokers are very organic people already, they don't want to buy it. They already probably think the government's fucking a put, scam. Put, put you know what I mean? <laughs> like, probably putting fucking caffeine or even more addictive shit in it, probably putting fucking nicotine in weed, you know? Like how would you yeah, how would you go about financially to do it that? Like they'd make a billion dollars on taxes if they made a weed legal. Yeah, weed legal. I mean, yeah, if you're out and you fucking oh shit, dude, I ran out of bed. Like I need to hit up the Circle K and go pick me up like a ten pack of joints. You know, yeah. like that's it's more of like a convenient thing, but it's on a long term thing. How would you fucking do that when yeah. anyone can just have a grow room and like it's not like making beer. Like it's a process. You know, like. Well, eh, it's a process to grow weed too, like good weed. 
But then you could sell it among yourself on the black market, like how it is now. Like, what would change? Yeah. And I know they would probably make it legal for private companies to, like, for drug testing reasons. But, like, I know for damn sure there's going to be, like, major corporations that, yeah, you can't smoke bud here, buddy. You know what I mean? Like, look at Charlie's job. I'm sure they don't want people working on freaking huge equipment. Why, super high, you know? Like, yeah, a vessel that carries people. <clears throat> You know what's weird is I was talking to Jay about this. Like people that I've known that smoked weed and stopped smoking weed, I feel like it'll, I know it sounds dumb, but I feel like in some people though, it brings out the best in you. Because I know a lot of people that stopped smoking weed and now like hanging out there is just it's not the same. It's really weird. Like Charlie, <laughs> I even brought Charlie. Like, I'm not saying Charlie's not fun. I mean Charlie's a blast to hang out, but remember how goofy Charlie like Charlie would make fun of yeah. himself more. He was he was more open to to make fun of himself. Seriousness, like the, yeah. Now, now he's a little more serious. I, I really do feel we we does bring out the best in people. Yeah. Well, there, I mean, there, are, it, there are some people that's like to take. It, yeah, I mean, you have to have a logical mind when you're on it too, because I know a lot of people that are like, no, nah! you know, just like fucking just idiots, just dumbasses. Yeah. And there's fucking dentists and doctors and lawyers and real important people. As fucking president of the United States, George W. Bush, <laughs> fucking wants to get high, you know. All right, so I have a correction to make because I just Googled it, and apparently it is legal to grow tobacco depending on, you know, the local and state laws. It's just highly illegal to trade or sell it without paying the proper taxes. This is why I call him Google boy. Do I hate anything I say? He's like, I'm going to start oh. calling you Red Band. You realize you're Brian Red Band. No, I just have to make sure the information I'm putting No, no, no dude, dude, literally every fucking conversation we have. That's not a cockroach. He has his phone. Beetle. He has his phone, and I'm like, what are you doing? I'm seeing if you're right right now. So literally, What's up, when, buddy? I, when I talk to Jeremy, I have to fucking wonder, hey, what the fuck? Don't switch the mic. Beetlejuice. Yeah, literally, he fucking Googles everything. It's annoying. Why not? Because you can't have a normal conversation. I'm sitting here fucking having Yeah, but it brings certain facts to the board, you know what I mean? To the conversation that, like, not saying that Google's always right, but, like, Oh, Google I was right. Google is fucking bullshit out of a paper room. bag. You know what I mean? I could have sat here and talked to all kinds of. That's not legal. You can't do it. And now we have the true facts. Like we're being a little bitch. I know. Stop talking Fuck shit. You, you weren't even in the conversation. You're over there googling. I know. I lost track. I was trying to do hey, what both. Were we, what were you just talking about? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he does. Hey, I'm sitting here fucking talking to him. And then he's stuck on the last topic we were on because he's fucking googling what the fuck I was talking about. Hey, I got caught up in that earlier with the devil's corner or whatever the hell's kitchen the hell's kitchen one i know it's something like that but it's like the 79 you google it, you? ortega you highway know, ortega highway that's why he left the conversation oh. did you guys do that ortega highway is that the one you took no no it's uh i don't know what it's called it's just highway 79 yeah that's the temecula one right yeah 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 this one i think that's ortega highway 79 i don't know man <laughs> What about it? Google it. What about it? No, I remember I was talking about the whole Devil's Kitchen or the Hell's Kitchen. Uh-huh. Hell's Corner. Something like that. Where a lot of people eat shit. Yeah, it's not that one. It's the one in El- Past LA. No, it's... I'm pretty sure it's that one. There's one going up to Julian. That one's... What is that? Uh, 67? Yeah. They have the 67, the 78. Fuck, see, you brought... It, look, look, now he's fucking Googling. Hey, if I talk into two microphones, would it be better? Uh, who knows? Hey, I, I don't see anything about it being called anything besides 79. Hey, this one's off, dude. No, God, fuck. Oh. <laughs> no, I was paying attention to the sound levels. I keep tripping. checking mine, too. I'm like, I don't want to hit the off button. <laughs> I this is pretty this cool. Mic. This mic has a fucking little thing on it that fucking holds it on. Whatever. That's why I keep checking it anyways. Hey, what do you think about that EDC music? I hate it. Why? I'm not in techno. It's not techno, dude. I don't mind it. I just have a hard time listening to it for a long period of time. Yeah, I like small it's doses. Like, I think it's pretty cool. Techno, it's all fucking... Like, I could just probably... beats. Like, on the bike, I could listen to it. <laughs> but I wouldn't want to because it would hype me up. Dude, yeah. I'm haunted, dude. My, when I used to work at Arlen Electronic Materials, my boss, all he would listen to is techno, and it fucking drove me insane. Like, there's no... I need words. 
It's like Transformers having sex. Oh, dude, for eight hours straight. Actually, you know, we work 12 hour days there, so for 12 hours, I listen to techno music. Well, that's probably what kept him going for 12 hours. Like, it's fucking annoying as shit. You realize, like, how those people fucking party? Like, when they have, like, an event or a music festival, like, they start at fucking five o'clock in the afternoon, they go till, like, five o'clock the next day, and everyone's still there partying. <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to do it. I started rocking my head. <laughs> I like it. You know what it is? And it's good st- for stereotype for me. Is like just e heads. Anytime I hear it, like I hear people bumping, I'm like fucking e heads. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm I stereotype the shit out of it. Yeah, but at the same time, it's good for when you clean the house. Oh no, I'd like I'd throw something. Like, no, that's I think I painted the inside of the like the living room with that shit and I fucking got it done in like fifteen minutes. <laughs> I was like in a roll, you know, like doom doom in a roll. <laughs> 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 Get it? I was rolling the paint roller. I was rolling while rolling the paint roller. Oh man. Gee! You're talking about fucking cleaning, cleaning high. That's fucking. That's. Oh, that's dude. It gets you intense. Get, you want to get down on cleaning? Fucking. <laughs> every you get like you don't even see dirt at the point you straight up see like fucking like the actual germ molecule itself. <laughs> dude, it's like, you, know? you actually enjoy cleaning when you're yeah. high, like because you want to do the best job for yourself. Right. I don't know if I enjoy it. I just I can't stop until it's done right. You back in the day, dude. You know what was the best though? Is you get the vaporizer because it's like an upper kind of a high. And you're just fucking cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. All of a sudden, you like everything's so OCD clean that you're just like, I need to mess something up because it just looks too weird in here now. <laughs> you know, like I fucking mowed the lawn with my fucking vacuum cleaner. Like the the carpet lines are perfect, and when like I messed up, I'd have to redo it. You know, <laughs> it was like Chris that bad. <laughs> You know, oh, you know who it reminds me of is going to fucking gummy bear. It's house. Remember, his house is always like the carpet lines. <laughs> yeah, dude. You know, oh, his man. dad just got super baked and just fucking. Dude, every time he went over there, his fucking garage. You could I stop. still go over there, and he comes out. What up, child? We're walking the dog, and he's like, "I just got out of the jacuzzi." I'm like, "You realize it's like eleven o'clock at night?" Well, first of all, I'm walking the dog late, but hammer drunk, just like, "Yeah, I got this back issue," and fucking, he comes out all happy go lucky. His garage and watches WWE and, and smoke hockey pot. and just sports. <laughs> That's all, all he day. does, dude. He'll all day long. He'll watch WWE. He's like the biggest fucking. He's like, he's gotta be close to sixty. And he's the biggest WWE fan. He just, fucking, <laughs> he just smokes weed and he's got fucking pictures of like, uh, who's the, who's the main fucking uh, the guy with the shaved head who's kind of an Steve Austin. Steve Austin. Yeah, Steve Austin all over his wall, like all the like, Stone Cold, Stone Cold, yeah, Sto- <laughs> that's uh, probably why like, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Stone Cold. Who's the heartbreaker stone or cold. some shit? Uh, Robbie oh, Bret Hart, Bret Hart, yeah, dude. Owen he, Hart. I thought he died. He did die. Is He's got all the originals, dude, all over his wall, dude. Hulk Hogan, like. I used to like the Hardy Boys. Yeah, they were tight. I was chubbier in, in elementary school, so I used to be have to be that fat Asian kid. And Bobby Zoe and Chad George, we got to be like the cool guys. They make me the fat wrestler, the fat Asian one. I had to wrestle against them. Oh, I used to hate it. The the sumo guy. Yeah, yeah. Yokozuna. But yeah, they used to fucking punk me in a fucking. I had to do his little thing. Hold <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking Chad George trampoline right behind the fucking. That's great, dude. This fucking neighborhood is some memories in it. Remember walking to Burger King all the time in the morning? Hell yeah! I spent my lunch money. French toast sticks. And you just be on a sugar rush all day, and then <laughs> lunchtime came, and you're like, I'm fucking so hungry right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> spent a lunch money on a fucking breakfast. That was when your buddy Corey worked there. Or the donut shop, yeah. going to the Blake, donut Corey shop. Blake, right? That's his comedy name. It's, uh... Whatever. It is. I'm He's fucking to, high right now, I don't remember. He used to be the fucking <laughs> manager over there, and remember, he hooks up some days, and some days he just talks shit to us. Dude, Remember, who's the one that worked at Circle K down there, Seven Eleven? Oh man, uh, Bobby. Oh, uh, Bobby. Um, That's what, dude. We got fucking uh, alcohol. And I remember, like, that was pre my fake ID too. Like, we would go in there, 
It Remember he probably like fifteen. Wait outside until the cop left. Remember, there's always yeah. a cop right there. It's okay on a uh, Haven. Oh, I don't want to. <laughs> this is yeah. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even want to put that story on blast. Yeah, his name's not Bobby. It's Rick. <laughs> Richard. Richard. No, we were fucking like fifteen. Dude, remember I'd go in there. Remember the first time I was the one. I was like, "Yeah, don't worry, dude. It's cool." I was fucking fourteen. I thought like I was nine. Yeah. Fuck. I I looked fucking young in high school, dude. I looked so young. You still young. look young. You're like a Justin Mellon. You know what's funny is people think that I'm the older brother. It's awesome, but he looks fucking older. Everyone, I was like, "What is it? You just act more mature." I'm like, "All right, we'll go with that one." <laughs> That's hilarious. That's only because the new girl told you that. There's been a few people that said that. No, they said you're more mature, but she's the only one that said that I'm the one that looks older. Dude, I love Danzig. Danzig's bad. I can't get over watching that video where he got knocked out. By, uh, who uh, was it? Some big giant dude. Uh, I think it was like a bouncer for like fucking... Motley Crue or something stupid like that. That shit was pretty funny. <laughs> hey, everyone has their heyday, and that wasn't his day. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think he realized there's going to be cameras around. Oh, yeah. They, they used to beat the shit out of people, though. I don't even know who you guys are talking about. The Misfits? Yeah, you know the song, A Mother. Oh, yeah. That's the Mother. Who do you get knocked out by? Some random guy? Big, like, Samoan-looking dude? Probably a bouncer or something. Sure. You should Google that, because that's <clears throat> awesome. If you've ever seen the video, it's fucking hilarious. He fucking tries to swallow up to a dude. He just acts all, like, dandy, like he's all, like, fucking dead and hard. And then fucking dude just swings on him and knocks him the fuck out. Dude, I'm, like, I'm fucking, <laughs> dude, I honestly, dude, I, it's fucked up to say, but I have, like, such a grudge against Samoans and Tongans just from Ranch High School. Yeah. Well, you do fucking remember what they did to my fucking brother. Yeah. It's Dude, terrible. Hey, I tell people about the when we were in football and they used to do Oasis. <laughs> Dude, fucking you hear Oasis and you better run because they're they're going to fucking hump you. Hump How you? gay is that? They, they'd strip you down to your box and then they'd hump you. Yeah, that was pretty gay. I remember, and then if you dropped to the ground, they'd fucking stomp you out. Dude, me and you always had that escape route fucking into the into the uh, the gymnasium. Yeah. You gotta get in there quick, dude. It's like Trevor fucking would paperclip that shit and get us in there. <laughs> I don't get it, though, how we always got out. I would fucking love for them to do that to me. Not in a gay way, but like just fucking. <laughs> I would love it. <laughs> That's when we started fucking. Wait, you were on SBA, weren't you? No, that was Sean and uh, Jose. Fuck. Yeah. The spa fruit loops. You know it's better if we have a webcam and you're playing that video. You alright? A little bug on you? You a little bug? I gotta take a leak. So so just some random guy comes yeah. up and tries to fight this guy? There's not, I don't, they don't really, it doesn't show what's going on. It just shows him um, getting knocked out. Do my fucking 10 year reunions coming up at school I didn't even graduate from. <laughs> You're already at your 10 year? Hey, Jenny came down to, uh, when she came down to visit on Saturday, she was talking about where it might be, and I was like, what the fuck? It's like a, that's a sad day. 10 years and you look at your accomplishments and you're like I, didn't, I haven't done anything dude I don't even remember what happened for uh here's play that and I think that's gonna play it Trev you know our 10 year reunion is coming up oh yeah yeah I gotta back out <laughs> just grab just grab another one I decided to uh I'll watch it later it's just a fucking alright whatever <laughs> yeah dude uh so Jenny came down on Saturday to bring us food uh huh <clears throat> yep. Trevor forgot his mic. And, uh, I got my beer. You reminded me that a 10 year reunion is coming up. Are you going to go? I'll go. I didn't know. I thought we had to graduate from the school to go. That's what I thought. Yeah, I thought no, I was like, like, no, a, like, she was like a, no, anyone can go. So she added me 
for, to the uh, the page, the reunion page. I feel like a hack, though. Oh, we didn't graduate. I barely even graduated high school. I went to options for youth. Horrible. I went to fucking Alta Loma, Rancho. <laughs> why don't you tell everybody why you don't, why you stopped going to Alta Loma? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know if I want to tell that story because there's a lot of people out there that don't know the story. If you don't tell the story, I'll tell the story. All right, I'll tell it. <laughs> all right, so my mom was all into like fucking making weird shit at the time, like Mexican dishes. And shit, I think she didn't know. She hasn't perfected yet. My mom's white and <laughs> she made enchiladas. I'm pretty sure she put too many like fucking pepper sauce or something in there. I don't know what the fuck you call it. And. Next day, look at all, like, first through third period, I had the stinkiest little tiny farts, like, all day, and it was, like, blowing up fucking classrooms with it. And then it got to the point where, like, I wanted the shit out of my body, so I started pushing them out, you know, trying to get everything I could out. And I'm walking down the <laughs> hall, going to fucking English class. Out to Loma, there's, like, a fucking... It's kind of like a old school kind of school, you know what I mean? Like you actually have like a hallway and then you have your locker and all that stuff. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, watch this shit. And I shit my pants in the fucking hallway <laughs> trying to push out this fart before I go into the class because I know it's going to be like 45 minutes of torture if I don't. So being an idiot of me, instead of going to the bathroom, I didn't, was scared because as a freshman, I didn't want to get like a fucking tardy slip or something. So I went in the class with shitty pants. I was wearing di like tan dicky shorts, and the shit fucking, it like it looked like someone just spilt like chocolate milk on the back of my pants, shorts, whatever. And I, I asked the teacher she, after she took roll, I'm like, I really need to go to the bathroom because remember SSR? It was all quiet. It was like the SSR fucking time in the school, so everyone's all just quiet reading their books and shit. I'm like. <sighs> like hyperventilating like trying not to fucking make any like sudden movements where like shit will come out of my shorts because i don't even think i was wearing socks so i was just wearing shoes and i went up to the teacher i'm like miss what was her name miss hogue miss hogue and this was not a college prep class this is basic english by the way and went up to Miss Hogue and she's like, Trevor, you already used your bathroom passes for the semester. And I said, Miss Hogue, I got to go to the fucking bathroom now. <laughs> and she looked at me and she said, okay, go, honey. So I went to the bathroom and I don't know, Altalom only has one fucking bathroom. You know what I mean? One for the whole entire fucking school. You went That's, to Altalom? Yeah, for a little bit. Like <laughs> freshman. No, he's telling the story when he shit his pants why he went to Rancho. Uh, me, and Nick, so. me and Nick and everybody kept like, dude, come to Rancho. He's only there f in freshman year for a few months, and then he shit his pants and went to school. <laughs> That's why he's so story, hey. though. So I'm in this fucking bathroom. There's fucking <clears throat> maybe, I think there's three toilet stalls all together. Three. For fucking a whole entire rant, like a whole entire high school. So, yeah, the first fucking stall, there's piss all over the toilet paper. The second stall, there's piss all over the toilet paper. I didn't even bother to look at the third one because I had to go again. So I ripped off my boxers, fucking did my business, and I there's no trash can in there. So I hung my box, my <laughs> shitty fucking boxers on the fucking stall. His mom had initials with Trevor Smith. <laughs> and then after that, I went to the fucking nurse's office because there's no way I was going to sit out the whole fucking day with no boxers and shitty bun buns, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I went to the nurse's office and I'm in there fucking acting like I was sick, but then I had to take more shits. So I'm in the fucking, and like, I don't know why, but there was all these hot chicks in the fucking little where you sleep, you know what I mean? All the little waiting beds. In the bathroom in the nurse's office is like right there. And so I'm going inside the nurse's office and fucking taking a shit. And then I realized like all these hot chicks can hear me. So I went up and I would like hold it and then like go press the, the hand blow dryer. So I was like, whoa, and then sit down. But I, I did that probably like 20 fucking times, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I get out and I fucking walk by all the chicks and then the nurse is like, did you really have to use the hand blow dryer that many times? I'm like, I really, I just had really wet hands. I don't know <laughs> like what to say to that. And my mom couldn't pick me up, so I had to ride my bike fucking three and a half miles or two and a half miles. I don't know what it was from out the Loma to my house with no boxers, with shitty buttons. <laughs> and, and the next day, he was in Rolling Red Show. <laughs> and pretty much the next day, I realized the consequences of my story because 
All my buddies are like, did you see some fucking asshole left some shitty boxers in the bathroom? Like, who fucking does that? It's so terrible. So fucking gross. And I'm like, yeah, it was so gross. You know, like high school, like your reputation's like, that's all you got. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be known for the shitty boxer guy, you know? God, I'm so terrified so I, of everything in high school. I moved schools. I think that's what made me be so quiet all the time was because, like, you say the wrong thing, all of a sudden you're fucking the target for the next month. Yeah, your reputation's all you got. Yeah, you get ostracized real fast in high school. Uh, what? Ostracized. What the fuck is that? <laughs> is, I don't even know what kind of word that is. Is that a noun, verb, <laughs> fucking adjective? What is that? How do you even spell that? Is that like ostrich? <laughs> like ostrich the bird? Is an ostrich even a bird? Yeah. What is that thing? <laughs> it's flightless. Hey, you know, you know what's fucked up though is like. No, I don't. I'm I'm not off this topic yet. Say that one more time. Ostracized. Ostracized. <laughs> Ostracized. You know what that reminds me of? No, I don't, don't even know because I don't even know what the fucking <laughs> word means. Holy shit, ostracized. That's the first time I've ever heard that word in my entire life. What does it mean? Can I get a definition, please? Oh, man. Did you, go did you Google that real quick? Are you fucking kidding me? You never heard ostracized? Never. <laughs> Google boy. Exclude from a society or group. That was a fucking well-placed <laughs> oh word God. in your fucking sentence. Ostracized. You hear it right? He's called you dumb. So anyways, no, his after... You know how many times I've said a word and Trevor's like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> well, what fucking... What... And then, what are you, are you and reading? Then, and then normally Joe will start laughing and then Joe will be like, Trevor, how do you know what that means? Man, I don't even think my vocabulary is not big at all. So when I say a word, Trevor doesn't know what I mean, I'm like, read a fucking book, Trevor. No, no, so like, you got fucking... Um, was it World Star? Yeah, World Star. I'll watch these videos, like all these high school kids, and they, they film all the fights. That's fucking humiliating, dude. You fucking lose a fight, and then you go to school the next day, and everyone's watching the video of you getting your ass beat. When nobody, dude, it's very rare when someone had a fucking cell phone in high school, and video cameras weren't out then. No, uh huh. There were no cameras on a phone. Video cameras yeah. didn't come out until we were, I was like, I don't know, 19? No, my, all my, my early 20s. Yeah, I no, know I my was, first cell phone didn't have a, a camera on it. Dude, no cameras out cell phone when we were in high school. I think it might you have been like... You take a picture, there's no video. Because when video came out, it was off the chain. You know who I always remember having the dopest cell phones was Nick. Just before or while I was in Iraq? <laughs> See? Remember the Razor? Scooters? No, the Razor phone. That, that was, was a, a shit yeah. to have back yeah, in the, the day. If you had that phone, that's a panty dropper phone. Yeah. Now nobody gives a shit, but... No, but imagine, dude, imagine the fear of you going into a fight knowing that everyone that shows up is going to record you. You better win that fucking exactly. fight. Exactly, that's fucking terrifying. <laughs> Before, but like, if you got your ass beat when we were in high school, you'd be like, hey, good job. You know what I mean? Like, you fucking tried. But now it's like, dude, look at you getting stomped out by this guy. That's humiliating. That's terrible. Yeah, I don't know how kids deal with it today. That'd be insane, because it's like, you get bullied at school. And you go home, and the bullying just continues. Because you go on, as soon as you go on to Facebook, you got kids talking shit to you. Or posting a video. Yeah. Someone FaceTimes you. What's up, dude? Pussy! <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't imagine just being So boy. long, gay boys. Dude, you're walking <laughs> up at school, and like, you know the, the assholes that just want to fucking keep fucking pestering you? Like, little dude, dude, look at this. Look, this is where you get knocked out right here. Right here, watch. Check Hold this on. out. Check it. Oh. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna put on slow mo. They got slow mo. Oh my gosh, have you played with slow mo on your yeah, phone yet? We play with it. We're in front of my house Ooh. with the RC cars. <laughs> Dude, I play with Jasmine's all the time now. It's fucking annoying. It's have fucking you seen the slow on the iP the slow mo on the iPhones? No, I don't. It's incredible. Yeah, it's fucking slow. <laughs> it's super <laughs> slow. <laughs> I mean, really slow, though. Like, it's like shit you see off of, like, National Geographic, like, when a frog's eating a fucking fly or something, you know? Like, hell yeah, I'll take some more of those. Oh, yeah. Oh, Popo? My bad. Popo's rolling through. Got some guys doing podcasts. Popo or taxi? Well, oh, that's Popo right there. Dude, still this day I see a white Crown Vic and I get scared. They don't have white Crown Vics in San Diego. Uh -uh. Well, CHP does. But we're... So Damn, this is the first time I think I've ever seen a cop on my street. I'm kind of nervous, like I didn't even do anything. 
We got a noise complaint. We're all just talking. Yeah. No one of the neighbors called because they smelled weed. That's the problem. <laughs> I don't think so. That'd be great if we can get the cops to come up here. <laughs> can you can you just join hey, the we podcast? Have a fourth mic. <laughs> yeah. We just have a tell us mic exactly officer. why you're here. Don't look at him. Why? What's he gonna do? Walk up here? What's up, dog? <laughs> I like how we all got quiet. <laughs> Fucking scary, dude. Cops are scary. Ever since I got my recommendation, I've been like wanted a cop to like find weed on me or something. <laughs> so all they can do is take it from you. No. Well, I guess they technically they could take it from me, but they're not supposed to. Where'd you get a recommendation by? Doctor. <clears throat> you don't even need a fucking recommendation. You can go in there and say your fucking eye hurts. No, no. Like, <clears throat> it, your license is called a recommendation. I fucking no, went no. in there and I got a recommendation for my eye and they gave me antibiotics. No, dude, I'm saying for your fucking license, though. You don't need anything. For your medical marijuana license? Oh, yeah, you just go and talk to the doctor. Dude, when my fucking... When they my, give you a recommendation. Dude, this is how she, hey, well, my mom, when she first got diagnosed with cancer... Haley drove her to the clinic to get her medical marijuana card, and she she t- she told Haley to go up there and get the lady to come downstairs. Mom waited in the parking lot. Lady came downstairs with the paperwork. Mom filled it out. Didn't show any information that she had cancer. The lady ran it back upstairs, brought down my mom's card. How legit is that? That's pretty cool. She didn't even get out of the car. I'm telling you, dude. You don't need anything to get your medical marijuana card. I got the glaucoma. <laughs> <laughs> this whole medical thing is just a intermediary before it gets legal or becomes legalized. It's just. I think it's going to be a long time before California. I think it's it's William Randolph Hearst <laughs> fault. I think another few years at least. I think and then no companies. I think so many companies out there are still going to still gonna deny it. I, mean, I think you're going to do it just like alcohol. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's legal, but you can't fucking drink and work. The biggest hiccup that we're going to end up with is, you know, how do you tell when someone's uh, high and dry? That's what I was about to say, because if you write their drug well, test... Evan, though, he got a fucking DUI when DWI, he was like 17. Yeah. For, for what? For, for being high. He was driving, he got pulled over, and... What are you caught? I don't really know. They're they're probably, probably, well, was probably smoking in the car or something. He, wasn't I don't he know. just always... I don't know. Well, that's frustrating because I like. I have a. But a company's a company. Even if it's legal, a company can tell you right that they don't want you to smoke. I mean that, like, oh, you can't smoke marijuana. I mean, a company can still make it illegal, right? Like, you yeah, but this- your work. Oh yeah, your work can because just like you can't, um, you can't be, uh, you know, if you're a truck driver, you can't, you know, drink. You can, you can't even really drink even on your days yeah, off because with, with class A, dude, you can't have. Any, that's why. I, uh, I had a swollen eye today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's, you're exactly at zero that. tolerance. Yeah, so I mean, you're still going to have those rules enforced for certain jobs because you they want to be the company needs to know that you're 100 percent there. Yeah, like if you're the dude on the side of the road fucking flipping the subway sign, like they probably don't fucking care if you're a little high. You know what I mean? But if you're the dude that's fucking like, I don't know, testing like embryos <laughs> inside of like a little glass jar for like inside of a hospital or whatever. You probably don't want to be high, you know what I mean? Or like a train conductor, fucking a yeah. pilot. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking pilot. You're already high. Yeah, but you, you sit in a cubicle all day. Like, who gives a fuck what you do at home? If I sat in a cubicle all day, I'd probably blow my brains out. Yeah, I feel you. I don't know how people do that. No, I don't. I don't. I would need a fucking treadmill right there, dude. I, I have to get up. Imagine people like just fuck. Imagine a telemarketer's life. Like, you're pretty much the epitome of the most annoying person in the world. And you'd also be an Indian. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing, sir? And I'm like, fucking better than you. You're selling <laughs> random shit to me, and I'm not going to buy it. So bye. Dude, I watched, I, the, their names. I watched the greatest line on Seinfeld. Jerry answers the phone. Tell Mark, I'm sorry, I'm really busy. Why don't you go ahead and give me your number and I'll give you a call back. I'm sorry, sir, we can't do this. Oh, you're right. You probably don't want people calling your home. Now you know how I feel. <laughs> yeah. That is a fucking good one. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Oh, yeah, no problem. Just uh, go ahead and give me your name and number and I'll go ahead and give you a call back. You know, I fucking, Joe loves it when like uh, 
like uh, Time Warner, or, like Direct TV, or like fucking Charter calls us, and they try to pitch more like TV channels or like to get their their cable and shit. And I just start going off on this rant and rave about like, do you guys have pornography? <laughs> and I'm like, I get into it though. I'm like, do you guys have like girl on girl? Like, <laughs> Dude, you're not, nothing's picking up you saying that. Say it louder. The girl on girl. There we go. Do you have like two girls, one cut? You know, I mean, I'll just keep going like the nastiest <laughs> shit. And they're like, yeah, we could probably accommodate you, sir, for that. But I, what I really want to let you know, and I'm like, no, I want to know. <laughs> Do you guys have anal leakage? Do you guys have <laughs> spitting in the <laughs> anus? <laughs> I don't know. I just fucking make shit up, and she's just sitting there dying, and they like it's funny to make them uncomfortable as shit. And I'm like, "We'll call you back, sir." <laughs> you know? That's how you gotta do it. It's fun. Oh yeah. Sorry. That was my first time. Well, no, no, it's pulling. not that I wasn't waiting for you. You're doing this. Do you know what it does? Really? Oh yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> you can't fucking. <laughs> he holds the microphone to his ear. I can't hear anything. <laughs> All right, so I'm fucking with this. Uh, what are these subwoofer? Or, no, no it's subwoofer. just a mic cover. It's a mic cover. Fuck. And I'm messing with it. Jeremy's yelling at me, so Trevor holds it up to his, his microphone up to his ear like he can hear what I'm doing. <laughs> I thought I could hear it through his microphone. <laughs> that was a blonde moment. I have those. Oh man. We should get an intro song. What are you? What's your guys' intro song? Nothing. I think this one's pretty cool right here. Nothing yet. Dude, we, Jeremy hasn't even figured out how to edit the first one. So we're gonna have like ten of these by the time I figure it out. Like Danny's guys are putting out some serious numbers, one a day. Yeah. <laughs> it's like five hours a day of just one long podcast. <laughs> so what do you guys do? Fucking like podcast, bro. What do you do? The Modcast. Modcast.com. There's no dot com on a website. I still need to do that. I still need to create a fucking website for this shit. Hey. What fucking people are you guys gonna get next for this fucking podcast? Like we what what that more far. guests? We just wanted to talk to all of our close friends first. Actually, yeah, I'd say a majority of it. I'm just down to interview friends. I'm down to like get a fucking pizza guy to come here and just fucking like random people like that and just bullshit with them. Imagine if you order pizza and be like, hey, dude, I'm going to give you fucking 150 bucks. Just sit down and talk with us. If you're willing to donate the $150, sit <laughs> yeah. down, for sure. I'm not down to talk to some random person who's being born okay. and shit. When I, I need 150 bucks. I mean, we could all pitch in, like, maybe, like, 20 bucks, you know? I'm down, down to find some... Guy? I'm down to find some crackhead. Yeah, I'm down with that. Him. I want a life story that's going to be I want to... Well, then we could do that at your house, because there ain't no crackhead coming to my house. <laughs> I want to find... Fucking A. Hey... Where did he go? <laughs> He's inside robbing the house. For 150 bucks, I want to know some mind blowing shit. I want to be mind blown about fucking your life story. Hey. That's why you're doing it for nothing. No, you bought me a six pack of PBR. But I fucking 16 drank, ounce. But me and Charlie drink all your Miller, Miller okay. Light. Did you see these new cans they got? The artwork on the back? Yeah, it's fucking PBR, dude. It's fucking the best beer in the world. Hello. Don't get me started on the PBR, dude, because I'm going to shut everything down. Rolling Rock tastes like fucking shit. The, the only worst time, after ta- aftertaste. The only other time I've drank a PBR is I threw up in his sleeping bag. That's a funny story. No, you didn't. No, <laughs> that was, that was Bud time. Light. No, that it was wasn't. fucking Bud Light. I swear to God, me, you, and Sean Larry, we went to the store. We couldn't find anything with the money we no, had. No, 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 That wasn't PBR. That was Milwaukee's Best. Dude, I put... That man, was Milwaukee's that Best. That was the first time I've ever even seen this beer, no, dude. That was Milwaukee's Best. Dude, I swear to God. I swear to God. I remember that Anyways, night. Anyways, Trevor doesn't know the fucking story. I think it was two 24s or two 30 packs of Milwaukee's Best, and that was the most terrible... <laughs> remember Sean Larry? It was like right after Christmas. You know how you get those like popcorn? That's what I threw up in your sleeping bag. No. This full shot was sitting here in the garage, and you get those, like, tr- what is it, like a three-pack or a variety pack of popcorn. There's, like, the kettle corn, the cheese popcorn, and the regular popcorn. And Sean Larry's eating all this popcorn. He probably ate, like, the whole fucking bucket, and all of a sudden he starts fucking puking in it. And the same thing he's no, eating. He starts puking in your trash can. No, that was the fucking popcorn thing. No. <laughs> he started, he was eating it, and all of a sudden he's like... <laughs> <laughs> started throwing up in his lap. Dude, I threw up in, uh, I went to bed at Trevor's room that night with his brand new sleeping bag. 
I threw up in his sleeping bag, nothing but popcorn. I ran to his bathroom, thought I could wash it out, filled up his sink full of throw up popcorn. Sink got clogged. Then I transfer the fucking popcorn into his fucking from his sink into his toilet. You never fucking told me the details of that. It's so then I tried to hand wash his sleeping bag. I left you his never in, told me the no, details in, in a bathroom sink. of this fucking in a bathroom story. Sink. And then at six thirty in the morning, I remember I called my mom. I was like, "Mom, you gotta go pick me up." I rolled up your sleeping bag, rolled it up, and knew that camping trip the next day. <laughs> <laughs> you used the what? You used the. <laughs> <laughs> you use the sleep bag. I remember you got back. I never washed that for like three years, and <laughs> well, I always like, wondered why does well, it stink so bad. <laughs> no, I only no, use no, it no, like no. once a year. Hey, the best part was I told Nick the story, right? That shit fermented. Hey, no, no. We go to your house. You get back from your camp trip because you remember, like, remember when you're in high school, your friends are gone for two days. They feel like forever. Oh yeah. Dude, Trevor got back from his camp trip. Me and Nick were like, all right, we'll cruise over. And I already told Nick the story. We get there, and Nick's like, yeah. And then Trevor's like, yeah, I don't know what the fuck it was. My sleep bag smelled like shit. And so Nick just starts dying laughing, and Trevor's like, what? What? And I'm like, dude, I threw up in it. I wash out No, you didn't tell me for a long time. No, dude, I swear. It was the fucking... The, do you have a shitty memory? This is this is what this podcast has been good for, just to go back and listen on. Well, you I the don't worst remember shit, memory. We saw, I started drinking at like fucking 12 years old. <laughs> fucking shitty memory. <laughs> Matter of fact... <clears throat> Matter of fact, and then there was nothing. These cord, these cords reached to the fridge. I wonder what the sound quality of a wireless mic is, because it'd be cool if we could all just be detached. So, do you just do karaoke with that? <clears throat> Stop talking because nobody can hear you. So did you do karaoke on that? Yeah, the rock box, Ion rock box, it's pretty rad. You just take it and you plug, it's Bluetooth, so you don't even need to plug your phone in. Yeah. So you go on YouTube or something and whatever, you know how they got all the karaoke fucking lyrics and all that? And then you have the microphone and it's got the music in the background. It's fucking loud too. And the battery lasts a long time. Just get all smash face and just sing all night, huh? Oh, yeah. Dude, I had my parents out in the backyard. No, we can't hear you. I had my parents out barbe barbecuing in the backyard. They were having a ball. My dad was like, oh, yeah, I'll sing some, like, Led Zeppelin, you know? And it's, like, my <laughs> favorite songs, and my dad gets it. And it's funny how, like, when you put a microphone in, someone's, in front of someone's face, you know, that doesn't usually karaoke or something, they're like... Forget everything. Yeah. Woo! That's <laughs> scary talking into a yeah. mic. And you could hear yourself all amplified. My mom's like, I love this song, I love this song. And then when it comes time to like actually sing it, they're like, reeling in the gears. Like Steely Dan. And I'm like, Mom, you're hilarious. Dude, it's weird. When you feel when you have a microphone in your hand, you feel like you have to be on. You gotta be on cue at all times. It's really weird. Like halfway through earlier with Charlie, or no name. <laughs> yeah, no name. <laughs> Yeah, he leaned over to me like, I'm so nervous. It's like, dude, don't trip. Just fucking talk. Don't, I think the only time, like, doing this tonight, like, <clears throat> it's more of like a, like, you guys are going to put up on, what, Facebook? Well, we're going to create a, a YouTube account because we already have our Twitter account. We're going to create a YouTube account so people subscribe to. So we're going to post it up on Facebook. We're going to create a Facebook page. Well, yeah, I want to put it on YouTube. I want to create a website that I can post everything to that can be so it can be streamed or downloaded. But from like, the uh, like our Facebook page, like every time we do a podcast, we will take a picture, you know. So take a picture. Of My you thing is, would, it's, it's like, like all the people that are on Facebook. You know what I mean? Like just the shit we talk about. Like don't be so judgmental. You know what I mean? Like this is just our lives, and like that's just pretty much how the story goes. Yeah. That's the only thing. Like I can tell. Like somebody would be worried about you know what i mean like your credibility as a person as a worker as a friend as a family member like well i think everyone just likes to be negative on whatever you're, you're doing if, if someone thinks it's stupid it's like like when me and jay like oh yeah we want to do a podcast what are you going to talk about it's like well nothing like we're not we're not doing yeah. this to get big we're doing it just to hang out with friends and have fun it's just a reason to shoot the shit you know like hey trev like normally i say like you know you got your work to do it's like hey let's do a podcast you're like oh all right i'll make time it's just fun to shoot the shit you know yeah like hell we wouldn't have been over here tonight if it wasn't for doing this yeah then that's 
That's why I'm like, fuck yeah, man. It's like you make you get both of you fucking brothers in the same fucking man cave. It's gonna, it's, it's, it's very just gonna, often. It's just gonna make us, you know, make time. It's just, it's kind of, it's gonna be a fun time to. Hey, so we were talking about this before, um, not not just us, not with you, Trev, but uh, we found it after we had kids, we found it very difficult to keep in touch with friends. Uh huh. And like, we find that we don't do it on purpose, and. For I, like, I always thought it was a symptom of uh, just having a child, and like, without like just getting older, have you found it harder, hard to keep in touch with friends? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's definitely certain. I don't know. When we were all growing up, I can't speak for you, cause I, you know what I mean. I what I didn't go to high school or middle school. Like, or, we didn't really become friends till like you know. Yeah, you know, it was a while after, but like for my little. I don't know. The way I think about it basically is like when you're in high school, you have a shit ton of fucking acquaintances and, a, you know, only a handful of real friends. But I've been lucky enough in life to like pretty much not necessarily weed out like friends to me, they weed themselves out, you know? Yeah. And like the friends that want to be there, those are the friends I also want to be there. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to have to bribe somebody or like have a make make it a hassle to come hang out you know what i mean like if you want to hang out with me i as much as you want to hang out with me i want to hang out with you that that kind of deal and people drop off the face of the earth some of them and some of them just go separate ways move out of the city move out of the state move out of the country some of them and they just you know that's what life's about not discrediting them at all but uh i don't know definitely yeah you people move on in life you know and it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's awesome to have social media and all that to, like, keep in contact or podcast. You know what I mean? What well, sucks about social media, though, is... It's a perfect... Keep in it's touch a perfect, keeping in touch. You keep in touch in your most perfect fucking moments, which is annoying. Like, a it's true... A joke, dude. A true friend <clears throat> will keep in touch with you thick and thin. You know what I mean? And I feel like a lot of the social media is like, oh, I'm all ready, I'm all showered up, and fucking... Cars all waxed up, fucking houses all detailed, lawns mowed, and then people take pictures. Like I think people forget to take pictures thick and thin times, which obviously you don't want to take a picture in thin times, obviously. But he does, you know. Like yeah, I'll take some some shitty ones. <laughs> but it's like you don't necessarily want to post your worst moments on. Well, no, nobody does. Everyone wants to have that perfect fucking image. That's why I hate uh, all that. Uh, Couples on Facebook, they're, they're fucking constantly telling each other that they love it. Like, oh, I love you, babe. Yeah. Love you too. It's like, oh, like, you see each other every day. You have to put it out there for everybody yeah, to see. That, like, what's the reason behind it? I mean, chicks, I think chicks do that just for themselves. And no, like, you know for those friends. couples out there that, like, do it. Like, if you say it to your spouse every now and then, you know, it's whatever. But the ones that are every day you see posting on Facebook. Right. They're going back and forth. It's like... You're probably in bed with each other and writing those posts at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like they're presenting an image that's not really happening. Yeah, the only thing that goes on my Facebook are my kids. It's very rare. I mean, Jazz will po post pictures of us, but it's never like, oh, like it's it's very rare that she does that kind of stuff. I I, I hate I hate that stuff. I hate it because it's just it's so fake to me. I think you have to just look at it all with a blind eye, kind of, and just everyone is their own person and. Who to, who to say I might post so much about beer? You know what I mean? They're like, this fucking guy only posts about beer. So it's just, it is what it is. Like, you can't really judge two pe like people too harsh. You know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah, but mainly, though, when it comes to couple, couples, though, that's kind of a... It's, 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 easy, was, it's easy to assume what, what, they're, what they're trying to, uh, trying to, trying to get out of it. Well, man, when you're young and in love and, I mean... I guess I'm guilty of that, you know? No, not that, because you can tell the difference. Like I'm saying, because you have the people, the ones I'm talking about aren't, like, because if you... We're talking about the ones that you know are fighting constantly, that you're around. Like, we have buddies that are constantly fighting the chick, but then you see them on Facebook, and it's like... Yeah, I should say the one that I know what's going on behind the scenes, and they're oh, constantly see, posting. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not, like, there are couples out there that, yeah, they're, they're just posting pictures of their love, but I'm saying, like... The ones like why? Why are you trying to portray something that's not there? Yeah, like you're I, I lying the, to your. Like I get the feeling. I know. I understand the feeling to where like when everything is really exciting mm -hmm. 
and you carry and like all you can think about is that person i get that 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 may like even though it's annoying for other people like i get what they're doing but yeah. when, you, when you know when you have when someone's your friend and you know what's going on behind the scenes and then they're constantly posting and everything on facebook is just nothing but i love you and like you know oh, can't wait to get home or some other fucking stupid shit and it's like no all you, you all you need to do is fight that's it I don't know. But back to what I wanted to I say. fight a lot with Jill. I swear to God, it's not a bad thing to fight. You know what I mean? Fighting just oh, means... No. Fighting to me, all, like, every... No, what we're trying to get at is how Facebook is so, like... Um, I'm not trying to make it on my story. I'm just saying, like, for other people. Yeah. Fighting no, is just... not necessarily a bad thing. But the whole over-posting shit, like, I can get it. You know, I get it. But at the same time, people have to, like... Just keep just keep an open mind on everything. Well, it's just no more of just a, you see a lot of fakeness presented on Facebook. Oh, there's a shit ton of that's all fucking. That's, that's more or less a lot I'm of social at. media is is fakeness. Oh, look at I work so hard. Da da da. Look at my new cars. Look at my new trucks. Look at the new house. Look at the, this. Da, 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 da. It's like material materialistic based media. That's what it is. Like that's how people. Especially in California, especially in Ranch Cucamonga, I feel they like to pretty much base their social standard, you know, and like what they have. Dude, Jay and I were just talking about that. Like, he was saying like how it took him a long time to get out of the Ranch Cucamonga mindset, like how he always felt he had to have a new car. Yeah, like keeping up with the Joneses. Yeah, keep, keeping, keeping up with the Joneses. with the Joneses for sure here, but this is a fucking mini Beverly Hills. This is the Beverly Hills of the fucking IE, you know what I mean? Like... I'm not saying it's right, it's wrong, but, like, you go back east. I've never been back east, but, like, I can just foresee. <laughs> <laughs> I could just foresee back east, like, no one gives a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, you have a big-ass lot, and you probably fucking, when it rains, you just go out and take your badass fucking UTV and just go mud bogging and shit because you can afford it because the house prices are cheaper. Everything's cheaper out there, you know, and you just have fun. You don't need to post every single thing online. Jay, I think I understand what you're trying to say. You're trying to say, like, basically, like, it would be nice to see some real shit on Facebook. Like, someone posts a fucked up picture of their lawn, like, oh, man, this thing hasn't been tended to. And instead of being like, oh. No, because do, people do do that. No, it's just more of, uh, I hate that, because a lot of people, that is, you're presenting yourself in a way that you, on, online, that you don't in real life. And it's just, I, I just, you should yeah. be one way, not two ways. It's right. just, and it's like, you see them on online. It's like, I hang out, I see you every day and that's not how you really are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's just, and it's like, I get it because you're posting, you're posting it somewhere where it's permanent. Like you post something on, on, online, it's going to be there forever. Yeah. So you want it to be, you don't want it to be. I think people just get lost in their social, their social rating. If you want to say like, you don't get likes off of fucking certain shit and i think people take those likes to the fucking heart you know what i mean like oh i got so many likes on this but i didn't get it on this you know i'm like who fucking cares if you're posting it you're posting that's a extension of your personality you know what i mean whether how many likes you get or not you might be fucking having the wrong people follow you i, I get annoyed because like i'll even have i'll even have coworkers like oh my god do you have like the most perfect family and I'm like, well, like, what are you looking at? You're looking at my face. You don't know me. Like, you're looking at my Facebook. That's stupid. Yeah, but Trevor, that's, that's what I don't like. Nothing. Like, Trevor might be right. I might be. I might be being a little too judgmental because I go through. I see your Facebook, and it might seem that because I know what you're doing. You're just posting shit that you're doing with Landon. Yeah. And you're not trying to present anything because you're gives you a place to store photos and it also makes yeah. sense you don't have to send pictures to anybody everybody mm -hmm. can go look at your facebook for it it's just you can scroll down a freaking page and then but when kinda... you go through it everything looks perfect it's like he's yeah. always having fun with landing and playing and there's no bad times well, on there, there, but... not everyone's gonna post not majority of people aren't gonna post their bad days on there well no i'm not asking you're gonna you highlight that. your good days <laughs> you're probably in being a little too judgmental about it like i mean i feel like that a lot of the reasons are just like the funny thing to me about social media is like the people who don't post anything at all and they're the more creepers, you know? Like I found myself doing the creeping, like I'm like, oh man, this person just got knew this, knew that. And sometimes you can get a little down on yourself, but at the same time you wake up and you're like, what the fuck? Like, I got a made in the shade. I'm white. I speak English. I have a job. <laughs> you know, like. I got a made in the shade. You know, like. I think a lot of it too, I don't really understand it because like. There's certain posts that, like, oh, I'll admit for sure I'm judgmental. Like, 
I think that you're trying to get attention. Like, let's say if someone passes, like, oh, my grandma just passed today. I don't understand what the point of just just putting that is. Like, I'm not I'm not saying that's wrong. I I just don't understand it. Like, what do you like w- when you do post something negative? That's my thing. I think there should be an unlike button or like <clears throat> I don't like this. Yeah, I think there should be a thumbs down. A like, thumbs, thumbs up, like thumbs down. Th- a thumbs down for the reasons of like, holy shit! Like you posted up something negative, like, and then you see like 125 people like that. I'm like, how do you like that? That's negative. You got a flat tire on the side of the fucking freeway. Like, why is everyone liking this? <laughs> it's not a yeah. good thing to like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just, it is what it is. It's like what you're saying. It's a place to store pictures and like, I don't know. You just got to take it with the blind eye and the blind ear and fucking, because now there's videos also, you know? So. Well, like one thing that really scared me about Facebook was five years ago, maybe I was at the dentist Four or five years ago, I was at the dentist. It's like pro- probably the last time I posted anything on Facebook, and I had I got it was that really cool picture I took when I was getting my root canal because yeah. I had this like weird thing in rubber thing in my mouth. I was isolated the tooth, and so I took a selfie and it looked like like a fucking predator or something. And I posted that, and I couldn't stop checking it to see how many people commented on it. Yeah. And then afterwards, it scared that's, the shit out of me, so I never posted anything again. But that's that's the thing, like because I was being so narcissistic. Exactly, you get. I mean, we're all, if you have a fucking Facebook and Instagram, Snapchat, like that's why you're on it. Basically. Yeah. You, you start up with a good intention and then like, I think your intentions start to go to, you start to put a filter on your picture to make it look perfect. You start to do different angles to make things look perfect when you're like, it's like, goes back to the fact like some chicks on Facebook don't look like the same thing in their picture. It's like a fraud, you know? I'll try online dating. <laughs> yeah. I've never done that, thank God. But, not thank God, but like, I mean, there's some people that get married off of that site, but there's some people also that are just like, whoa. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. woof. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've met Jell on MySpace. So. Is that where you met her? Yeah, basically. Right. Well, I mean, I met her personally at my Halloween party back in the day, but like, I got, jazz, right? I got her mixed up with another chick and then freaking oops, you know, sorry, have a good day. And then she told me, hey, fucking here's my number. Call me. And I never called her. And she hit me up again on Facebook, like our MySpace. So, I mean, if it wasn't for MySpace, I wouldn't probably have ever. I met Brittany on Plenty of Fish. Yeah. See, I mean, like there's some stories that prevail off of that shit, you know, but you just got you got to take it with like a grain of salt. That's what I meant to say. Not a blind eye, but like a grain of salt. Like everyone wants to live the American dream and have a perfect life. You know, that's our purpose here is to be happy. And if you don't seem happy and your pictures don't look happy, then you're probably not posting anything. Because if you don't post anything, then you probably I don't know. Why are you on there in the first place? Yeah, I don't. I don't see you believing. It's a touchy all, subject. I don't see you believing all that, though. Huh? I don't see you believing all that. I I know for I. I there's got to be some things that you see that are like, dude, this is ridiculous. Well, yeah, there is, but that's just my own judgmental personality coming into play. But like, who am I to say to this person, like, yeah, you? It's freedom of fucking freedom of speech, basically. You know. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I have to go through and read it. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't have to look at their stuff. I can even choose to unfollow and never have to see anything in that person post. I mean, everything, I'm just being judgmental and hypocritical. It's a good conversation because it's like, it's so, it's so versatile in a conversation. Like, you can either be for it or against it. You know what I mean? Or you can have different views on it. And I don't know. I guess not too versatile, but. I it, think I think I made a bad point. The point I was trying to make is like, you got the people that will post a picture, oh, they're all hunky dory, and then it's like the next day, fuck them. And it's like, dude, this shit is so amusing. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Don't think I like, or, like, fun. Ugh. I don't even want to talk about this anymore because I'm just going to keep saying judgmental shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, what, that's why I'm trying to take the high road. Like, because you could sit there and pick every single picture apart and you're like, well, you know like, that. Now that I'm like analyzing. Because I'm being recorded, I'm analyzing more of what I'm saying. And for like, the view, for the, for the I'm listener, saying, I'm for like, the it's listener. just being a judgmental fuck. Yeah, but I'm saying, I'm talking how I truly feel, though. 
And I feel like you guys are almost filtering yourselves. I'm not, I'm not filtering. I'm filtering myself. I'm looking at it from the other side. Like, because I'm being recorded, I'm forcing myself to debate myself. Exactly. And that, I mean, I think people should do that more. It's just like getting stoned and fucking finding out your flaws. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, everyone comes from a different family, different fucking place on the hemisphere of called to earth, you know, or whatever. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about, but different strokes for different folks, basically, at the end yeah. of the day, you know? Mm-hmm. You want to post about fucking your cars, your money, your job that you like some people I know that they're not making that much money. But, yeah, it's payday and you happen to get paid cash and it's like you you present yourself as a big daddy baller. Cool. If that's what you're all about in life, then more power to you. I'm if I don't like it, I could always hit the unfollow button. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the thing that people don't understand. Like, they're like, oh, my God, he's so annoying or she's so annoying. She posts this and that. But they continue to fucking look at their posts and be super judgmental about it. But what I'm trying to say is you know I, I, I mean? just think it's more funny. I, I, I guess what I, what I, what the whole reason I'm, I'm on the subject is I guess I just don't understand it. I was kind of hoping to get a bigger picture from you guys. on. But there's nothing to understand. Just what that person wants to do. I mean, yeah. whether no, no matter I, what I they're just, posting, I mean – You'd have to get inside each individual's head who's posting to get your answer. Yeah. And I think at the end of the day, like, people just want to get likes. You know what I mean? People really look at the likes, really look at the comments, and, like, that's their day-to-day. Like, oh, I'm going to post this picture, and I'm going to see how many likes I can get. Because I've heard people, like, talking about the way, like, now people are trying to get likes. It can almost be used as a currency. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what any of that's about. I guess it's just well, a popularity contest or something. Yeah, if you get well, so you many fucking... Look at, look at fucking YouTube. If you get so many views on YouTube... You make money, yeah, that's You true. can make fucking an extra income, you know what I mean? Like, And you could say the same for YouTube. Like, yeah, some people post the dumbest shit, but hey, someone in this freaking... Planet. I'm a fan of YouTube, though. I don't care what you post on YouTube. I <laughs> think it's hilarious. There's some dumbass shit on YouTube. There's some dumbass shit on every single site out there, but it's just like... If you're following that person, you must like it, or you can always hit the unfollow button. Yeah. If you don't like it, I hate the people that sit there and they go, oh, she always does this, or she always posts this, or he always does this, and da 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 What's what like, I was doing right now? <laughs> you can always have the option to go unfollow, or you know what I mean? Like, you yeah. don't have to sit there and watch that, or listen to that, or see that. Yeah, it's true. Like, there's some shit that I posted. Like, some people are like, what a fucking asshole. Grow up, you know? I guarantee most of my pictures are like that. I don't think so at all. Well, you know me. You know what I mean? There's certain people that... Everybody, yeah, but everybody that you have knows you. Half the things that I posted on Trevor, literally people from high school saying, oh my God, same fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a difference. You're making that whole different point. Like, what do you mean? You do funny shit, and you're known as the funny guy. Yeah, You're and then there's certain guy. people that are known for being super vanity, like into their looks and into their this, yeah. and they post a fucking different eyeshadow that they do, and it's like fucking, you have a lot of time to fucking change your makeup three times a day, you know, and they might be searching for a career, or trying to get fucking clients, I don't know, you know, and you have some people that all they post about is freaking every single step of the way that their fucking kid does, you know, like. So I'm not there yet, but like some people don't want to see every single freaking time they click down. It's like, me. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's hard to go about this conversation and not be offensive. Yeah, no, I get it. I guarantee you. Yeah. You know, no, like, I, it's I see just, your point. It, it's, point. it's, it's your, basically, social media is like your own website. Yeah. So you could modify it however you want. And who am I to say that that's bad or good, you know? And if I don't like it, I could always unfollow it. Damn, that's a good fucking way to put it. It's your own fucking website. Just that's, like this podcast. Someone fucking, someone could sit here and sh- fucking eat this thing yeah. out and chew it up oh, and be I like, this thing work. is so fucking boring. And talk yeah. about fucking jacking off to motorcycles <laughs> to fucking Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. And like, who that's, am I, damn, who am I to sit here? That's the best way to put that, dude. Who Get am I to website. sit here and fucking judge that? You know? In your mind, I feel like, yeah, everyone, uh, any logical person in their mind can judge it. But like... What, what makes you, I don't know, a human being or something. I don't know how to word that, but, like, it's when you put it into words. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, in your mind, everyone fucking has their own conversation going on when they see pictures. But, like, I don't know. 
Try not to be. Awesome. Just don't. Hey, moral story is don't be a dick. Hey, no, that's a perfect way to put it, though, just because of the fact that, like, I remember before I had kids, I used to get fucking annoyed to the fullest. Now I'm thinking when you said that, like, post a picture of your kids, I used to get so annoyed people used to post pictures. Yeah, but, like, why not? But now that's all I post on Facebook. It's pictures of my kids. Yeah, and it's like, it's fucking all fun and gravy. Like, it's cool. But I if love you don't, it. Yeah, if you don't know my kid, you're like, dude, I don't yeah, want to see that. I don't want to see that. I want to see kid. Ryan. Yeah. You know, I want to see Jeremy. I want to see Trevor. You know what I mean? Like, I, or fucking dogs. Like, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Your dog fucking rolled over and it's laying on its belly. Like, yeah, there's some fucking times where I want to post a picture of Daisy sleeping. No one fucking cares. <laughs> like, no one cares but me yeah. or Jell. You know what I mean? Like, there's some shit, yeah. You probably shouldn't put on there, and there's some shit that's like, who the fuck am I to judge you for that? I'm the one following you in the first place. Um, moral of the story is fuck Trevor. <laughs> moral of the story is don't be a dick. Yep. Very true, man. You made some good points. Well, it's weird because I started off trying to make a point, and then, well, the more I thought about it, the more I flipped on myself. Like hey, you have you're, all you're the power. You just hate you're social just, media. You're just good at making points, man. Social media is it's it's it it is what you want it to be. If you want to make money, you can make money. It's like if you want to post a gang of pictures of your dog, post a gang of pictures of your dog. I yeah. know people that have their own Instagram for their dogs. You know, it's just like Charlie Gummy Bear. Funny. <laughs> Fucking Kona, twelve thousand dollars or whatever. <laughs> fucking the dog heels. <laughs> Thirty five hundred dollars so far. Jeez. Um, it's a touchy subject, you know? It's a fun subject, though. Because, look, you just fucking... Well, it's a conversational piece. Yeah. You know? Oh, what I, was, I know you what I was trying to say earlier. just changed my opinion. Since I don't talk to anyone anyways. What I was trying to say earlier is with uh, social media, you get to keep in touch without keeping in touch. Because there's people that I'll see them post something, and then I'll end up going to their page. Then, you know, the once a week I go on Facebook, and I'll scroll through their page... And it makes me feel like I'm keeping in touch and I haven't talked to this person in three years. Yeah. But you know what's even more awkward? Let's say if you have a coworker or a family member that fucking likes every single picture and everything, and then you see that person and you see the actual individual in person and they're fucking awkward as shit like they don't know you. That's what bothers me about it. Like, I feel like you know me, what I'm all about, but like, when I see you, you, you're like, who the fuck is this guy? You know what I mean? Probably social problems. I don't know. No. I've been pissing in my front yard. I went inside and used your bathroom. All right. Forever. Pee break. I'm about to get a fire hydrant from work. Just hose it off every night? <laughs> I don't even care. Just fucking have it in the backyard. Just so it's like a desert... Brandon fucking was pissing in that one. I'm like, dude, go in the backyard. I got fucking neighbors, you know? They got little kids and shit. Like, what the hell? No one wants to see your little dick, little shrimp dick. And on top of that, I got to pull those weeds in that fucking planter, you know? <laughs> I wanted a, a designated piss spot where I don't have to worry about the homies' piss surrounding it. Just have piss hands every day? Yeah. Every time you do yard work? We are taking a break. So we have to listen to silence. Or me. I'll go back to what I was saying. No, all right. So since I'm thinking about my original question, because me and Ryan have a really hard time keeping in touch because we're fucking... Ever since we've had kids, like my memory's gone to shit. Like my short-term memory, I can't keep anything. And then having our... And I, I literally, I'll, I'll be in the middle of something. I'll get a text message from somebody. And I'll be like, oh, well, I need to hit them back. And I'll put my phone back in my pocket and just forget about it completely. And then I feel like an asshole because then I'm, then three days have passed by the time I remember that I didn't talk to you. And then now I'm an asshole if I, either way. So yeah. I just don't do anything at that point. It's just. Uh, and so like for us, like we have a, like, it's like we feel like we're being assholes all the time, but then we just continue to do it. I don't think, th I think if anyone knew you, knew both of you guys, like, it's, they knew, obviously, who you guys are enough to text you and be like, hey, what's up, dog? And, like, you know, they're not going to, people get busy, and especially people get busy with fucking families and kids, you know what I mean? You can't, it's not like you are in high school, like, you're a fucking free bird. 
oh yeah you want to go here let's go here like you have more responsibility now and you need to like you have your own individual that you're trying to mold to be a fucking human being you know yeah, but not, every, not everybody's gonna look at it like you do but but even you don't look at it so much that way also i mean i've i've, I've hit you back and you, you know be like fucking finally what the fuck you, you know what i mean it's it's just a joke. Oh, it's just a, just a joke. Oh, yeah, you, you're I, saying I that people get busy. I get busy too. Yeah, it's just it is what it is. But but some people that don't have kids will obviously you know look at the situation like you really you don't have two minutes to text me back. Hey, sometimes two minutes is a long time for yourself. Two minutes, two minutes taking a dump. I know having kids and trying to take a shit. Well, dude, you called me when I was trying to take a dump, and you heard Landon banging on the door. Yeah. Dad! I'm like, dude, I'm like, see, this is what I do. I like, can't take a shit in peace. That's the man minutes right there that count. Dude, and, and literally, this is this is Landon. I'll go in the bathroom. Dad, let me come in there. I'll, I'll open the door, and he comes in there, and I'm taking a shit playing with his cars. <laughs> He's on the floor playing with his car, and I'm taking a shit. Yeah, I've had to deal with that. And then he'll be that like, is... he'll be like, Dad, you going poo poo? Yeah. He'll be like, Let me see. I'm like, Get yeah. away from me. Yeah. <laughs> he always wants to see. He's like, Let me see. I'm like, Dude, fucking get away from me. And I already have Miles in there because Miles is four months old. So I got Miles in his little bouncer. And then Landon's got to come in too. Hey, Miles is so freaking fat right now. It's dude, so great. We were looking at baby pictures of me right now in my aunt's house before we came over. Dude, we're like twins. That Miles is fucking healthy. <laughs> yeah. Miles is super healthy. I told you we went to his, one, uh, his four-month checkup, and they say he's over an average weight of a one-year-old. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, hey, we had Landon. Landon weighs 26 pounds. And, Landon, and Miles is almost at 21 pounds. <laughs> when insane. Jazz posts, I forget what picture. It was like Landon and his little brother Miles. I'm like, you mean Miles and his little brother Landon? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, man. I'll give it six months, it'll definitely be that way. Yeah. Dude, I, taking a shit in, in peace, dude, does not exist anymore. I'm at work, dude. I'll just chill in there. I'm at work. I'm like taking a 20 minute shit. Just you know back. what? I've been really into like trying to invent shit lately and that just made me think of like my mind is like when I people when I hear people's problems I just I start having my own conversation what about like a vibrating or like something that keeps your blood flow like a toilet seat that keeps your blood flow going so when you get up you don't feel like you fucking are amputated from the hip down you know when you stand up after sitting on the shitter for like 10 minutes? What could a vibrating shitter have to do with anything? It just keeps your blood flow going, you know what I mean? Like a heated one, like a heated toilet yeah, how seat. How long are you sitting on the toilet? For quite a long time. You know, you get on fucking social media. <laughs> <laughs> it could be fucking five minutes, and it could be fucking half an hour. Yeah. Or, what about this little thing? I don't even know if I want to say this on the air, because this might be a multi-million dollar little invention here. The lint mitten. Just take that in for a minute. The lint mitten. Have you Googled it? No. <laughs> I guarantee you there's a lint mitten. <laughs> if there's a lint mitten, it then sounds, fucking... It just sounds like a lint roller. Okay, it's a lint roller, but it's not a roller. It's uh -huh. not bulky. It's I can make it... Well, I haven't made it yet, but I can get it designed so it folds up like the size of a condom. Okay, you know what you can go on Shark Tank? It's a lint <laughs> MI, and the first thing on Google popped up is lint mitt. <laughs> Fuck that guy. see what this is. Dude, Fuck is. him and his stupid invention. <laughs> is it? Let me see it. Is it? Let me see it. <laughs> there is a lit mitten, Trevor, so you can kiss your idea goodbye. <laughs> All right, so anyway. let me see. I bet you I can design that shit way better. Invention. Let's see your next no, invention. No, because, okay. Is it a roller, just, though? Hey, is that true? So is that so? If you get something vibrating in your ass, it keeps the blood flowing. Is that no, I don't know. This is, I'm, I'm talking about one time use. Like, if you're fucking going out to a club or something. I had a nice shirt on the other night. And I'm like, I'm super like, if I want to look good, I want to look good. You know, no lint on the black shirt. Yeah, it's called a lint roller. Yeah, but you can't put a lint roller in your pocket and like skinny jeans. They and, have like, ones that are this big with little tiny roll. Yeah, but it's not good enough for me. Like I want one time use, like something I could just and then and then throw away. The lint roller you're gonna keep. You're gonna want to keep Who that. Is getting the lint off them when they're in the club? Me. You do the shit. Before you leave the house. Okay, how about this idea then? Uh, <laughs> speaking of the club in a nice shirt, you know when like a chick comes up, your wife, Angelica, gummy bear, which now is Angelica's gummy bear. Actually, I'm not even gonna say this. Forget I said this. Fuck you, say it. Okay, any other random girl comes up to like a friend of a friend and they give you a big hug and all of a sudden you got makeup on your shirt. 
How would you get that off? The lint mitten has a sticky side to it that you can one time use and then boom, boom, boom. What's the sticky do? Wait, how the, the st- fuck would that get makeup off your shirt? Makeup's on your I don't know. Shirt. I'm still fucking working the bugs out, dude. Give me a break. Are you going to have a sponge on the other side that you just spray water on? Yeah, it could have that <laughs> if you wanted I've to. I've never gotten makeup on my shirt. Okay. You've never hold on, hold on, hold on. hugged anybody and then all of a sudden you have fucking foundation Dude, all over your shirt. I want to know how the fucking vibrating seat keeps the blood flowing. Is that is that Like accurate? a heat seat. <laughs> Why are we still going back to Because this? I want to know what, like, he made, he came up with this invention, so I want to know Look, at, that's why I need an engineer. I need an engineer to f- fucking ha- hammer the shit out. I want to know how that out. went through your head and thought that it would keep the blood flowing because the seat Because heat makes the blood rise to the surface, right? <laughs> You know what I mean? Wait, this what is vibrating? Because like, they like vibrate your fucking vein, your butt vein. Seat. You have a main artery right there where you're sitting down, and or just a bigger seat. I guess I might need a, just a bigger toilet Dude, seat. All I know is your toilet is the deepest toilet I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, that lint hole! If you had your lint mitten, your lint mitten would take care of that little piece of fuzz. I just had a bug land on me. <laughs> There's a vibrating toilet lid. For what though? Just for, for toilet poly- seat. Toilet seat. I mean, not probably just to vibrate your ass, not to keep the blood flowing. Yeah, you can where's, sit on it for Mel- days. Where's Melon when we need him? No, Melon and Nick. Every time you call fucking Nick, he's. What are you doing, Nick? Actually, I don't even have to know. I'm on the shitter, dude. <laughs> okay. Nick's office. I bet doesn't even have a fucking office chair. It's just a shitter going straight. <laughs> it's, they made his office, and it was a bathroom, and it's just he's sitting on the he dumper. He sits down the ta- table, folds on top. Of him. Yeah. Hey, the guy that made this uh, says it's good. It's designed to stimulate. Stimulate your anus. It seduces and stimulates stubborn bowels into action. <laughs> See what? <laughs> you know you're supposed to. You know the best dumps. You're supposed to be in the squatting position. Hey. Tell Jeremy about the time you had a worm. No, I don't want to speak about my worm. <laughs> Tell Jeremy it's already spoken about. Every, okay. <laughs> no, I'll okay. speak about this, but I want well, to say, on. first of all, everyone has worms. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Everyone in their life has worms or have had I don't worms. Want to hear about the worm. What were we talking about just a second ago? His Send invention. For another day. I don't want to hear anything about worms right now. His invention. <laughs> no, but before, before you interrupted your stupid vibrating toilet seat. The lit mitten. The Not foundation, like the con- the makeup on the shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've never had that happen? Where you're, like, you're at a party or something, you're like, oh, hey, how are you doing? Long time no see. And then Actually, they g- there's been two chicks, I'm not going to name anybody, but it happens every time I hug them. They yeah, I know exactly shirt. who you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, they kick my shirt like, every time. It's fuck. <laughs> it's literally fucking... We've actually talked about it. Butter knives. Fucking Hold on. Butter knives. Hold face. on. Pause. So we're unpausing right now. Yeah, we're <laughs> We had to pause so we could explain who we were talking about. <laughs> You guys are judgmental assholes. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> hey, as soon as we pause, Trevor names the first two names that we thought of. I know exactly. <laughs> there were high fives. Yeah, we. Yeah, Trevor, you high fived me. Shut fucking, up. It was Jessica Beale. <laughs> and fucking, who's that chick from Victoria's Secret? Sheol Crow. What? I don't know. It's a singer, you dumbass. Whatever. <laughs> it's a country singer. It's funny. What do you think about those LED lights on that bar over there? They were freaking me out because I could see them out of the corner of my eye and everything to change. Amazon. Dude, I have an addiction Amazon's to a, yeah. fucking Amazon. Amazon is great. I'm over buying shit anywhere else or I'll fucking reference from Amazon before I buy it now because I love it. The click of a button. The fact that you have to go anywhere. And then it's like you get shit in the mail and it feels like fucking Christmas, you know? Like. You know, already know what it is, but for some reason you're excited about it. No, what's the best is when you order a few things and it's like a mystery. You're like, ooh, yeah. which one is ooh. it? What is it? <laughs> Dude, when we, what is we, it? Hey, when we ordered a podcast equipment, it was fucking stuck because everything was so fucking scattered. I was like, ooh, hope it's recorded. Fuck, it's not the corner. Hey, what do you guys think about outer space? I think that I'm too dumb oh, to know anything shit. about it. Well, so, I'm, yeah. That's <laughs> why I'm just throwing it out there. Good luck, Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> this guy Like where does it end Where does it begin With aliens You believe in aliens Fuck yeah Well Do you believe aliens have visited us Yeah Why I visited Area 51 once And confirmed it Do you think What'd aliens you are like Gray big heads Big eyes Or do you think aliens are like Just like us like I feel like if black. I envision an alien, I feel like you'd be exactly what one would look like. 
I'll show you an alien. <laughs> alien brain or what? <laughs> Remember that? Alien brain. <laughs> I'm looking at Trevor's koozie. What's it called? Flozy? Floozy. Floozy. And it has well, a pop. Flozy. Let me see it real fast. But I like it better as Floozy. And there's a, a puncture that you can shotgun beers out of. You just pop the side of it and puncture your beer. There's a button you push. It's not a puncture that punctures. There was a guy here earlier. I don't want, I don't want to name any names, but he had like 20 of them before he went to work. <laughs> <laughs> the unnamed. Oh... Uh, Fucking Charlie. Oh, Diesel tra- <laughs> just, oh shit, I said his name. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to edit the last... Okay. I'm going to really have to learn how to edit. It's just the last edit podcast this. is going to be like... It's all going to be edited. Should do something funny like Kobe Bears. <laughs> Every time we say his name. <laughs> just me coming in. Kobe Bears. <laughs> what, what, or just be like Eeyore. No one will know Eeyore. Fucking everybody from high school will know. <laughs> yeah. But who cares? Eeyore. The first time I ever went over to Charlie's house, fucking Trevor's like, hey, watch this. I'm gonna put a piggy. I'm gonna put a penny in this guy's head. Charlie's a, pe- a piggy bank scar. So oh, is that you- what you're telling me about? What Trevor, you told me the other day that Trevor used to try to put co- coins in him. Yeah. So we go up to Charlie's house. He's working on his RC guard. He goes, "Fucking the fucking penny just won't fit." In yeah. his head. <laughs> you smell that skunk? Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. Jeremy, is that your stash or is that a real skunk? That's a real skunk. Fucking, I didn't even know they existed anymore. Like prehistoric. Well, actually, we start wrapping this up because we got to ride back to San Diego. Yeah, I'm ready to roll. All right, ladies and gentlemen, till next time, the one and only Trevor's gummy bear. What up, what up? All right, guys, catch you guys on the flip side.